Go ahead, sure. And so we should have got a flashlight. Yeah, we got the QA1 sway bar up here. Uh, went ahead and upgraded just the front sway bar for now. Just the front. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. That's Peanut, I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventure where every day is an automotive adventure for us. Today, when the Honeycomb Hideout, we're gonna provide you guys an update on Project Blueberry, our new Edge Mustang that we've been working on. It's like an autocross slash time trial project that we're, uh, you know, we're embarking on. But before we get into today's video, let's give an official shout out to our official sponsor. The Grass Mafia. GraphicSwapVA.com, right down there. Graphic needs, anything graphic related. New graphic, old graphic, custom graphic. Um, you need to fine tune a graphic. Uh, decals, t-shirts, promotional signs. items, yard signs, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, laser engraving, all of that, y'all. Reach out to them. Uh, they can, um, any project you got, they can complete it. So, Innovative powders, like Peanut was stating. That's another one of our sponsors that's close to us. Uh, he does anything with powder coating. He can powder coat any of your car parts, any of your motorcycle parts, ATV parts. What else they do, Peanut? He does a lot of yeah. um, uh, things with uh, household items, kitchen sinks. Uh, uh, what are they called? Like faucets, spigots. Man, he does a lot, y'all. You know, so his information is on the screen right there. And, you know, reach out to him, give him a phone call, and tell him that Peanuts Automotive Adventure sent you. Today's video, like I was stating earlier, Project Blueberry, we're going to give you all the full scoop and update on some of the upgrades we did and some of the upgrades we didn't do, right, Peanuts? Yeah. But let me turn this camera around and babble about what has been completed on Project Blueberry. All right, first and foremost, go over to Peanut. We're going to show him this. No, what are you? No. It was all front suspension, right? No, no, come back here. Come back here, right here. We're gonna show them this. All right, this is all the old front suspension items right here. So uh, basically, this is supposed to come off. Yeah, go ahead. It's Do so it. old go ahead. Try it. that it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off. Yeah. Try it. All right, watch your feet though. I don't want you to smash your feet with that. But um, these right here, the coil springs are rusted to the control arms, the original yeah. control arms to the car. Um, that's a uh, that's bad juju. That's a bad no no. First and foremost, and second and foremost. Second of all, all the rubber bushings was dry rotted, cracked on the control arms, along with the bushing. I mean, along with the uh, boots that are missing on the ball joints. Uh, we went ahead and replaced the uh, front wheel hubs, uh, tie rods, outer tie rods. Yeah. As y'all can see, the sway bar. We replaced that with a, a QA1 unit, which we'll be showing y'all in a few minutes. And Go ahead, see if you can raise. Oh, and the sway bar links. Oh, Peanut's right. We replaced the bushings for the uh, steering rack. We went with some offset bushings to help eliminate some bump steer from the car being lowered. Uh, what else did we do? See if you can raise that one up. And of course, we replaced the coil springs, as y'all can tell. Yeah, you can't. Uh, watch your feet, watch your feet. There you go. Go ahead, drop it. Them things are rusted on there because you get so much road debris down in there and uh, the water's not able to drain off and it just rusts right there. Y'all can see it right here. So come on, Peanut, put that down. Let's go over here and show them what all we replaced in the front. And another thing we did too was uh, we have replaced the brake pads too on here. Uh, coming to find out these are the same pretty much similar calibers that go on a Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. 
turbo. So those are the brake calibers from that. Go ahead, show us. And so we, we should have got a flashlight. Yeah, we got the QA1 sway bar up here. Uh, went ahead and upgraded just the front sway bar for now, just the front, until I can figure out uh, how the back feels. Uh, yep, there's the um, BMR control arms right here. BMR control arm, QA1 um, sway bar, like I mentioned before. BMR um, lowering spring, they only lower the car, I believe, an inch. So we went ahead and replaced those because we had to. We had no choice in that matter. Yeah. One thing I like the BMR control arms is you got the polyurethane bushings. Yeah. And we went with uh, the taller, let me see if I can get in here, the taller ball joint studs right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Peanut got the light. Went with the taller ball joint studs because it, they made them for a lowered car, which this car is lowered. And also, as y'all can see, we took out some bump steer right so when the the car is sitting on this tire all this is going to be even yeah, right here we... so it ain't going to be like uh, like this or like that it's going to be straight across for when you make that turn into a corner or into a turn and you're not pretty much jacking the inside of the car you're not jacking with the uh um with the steering and also it helps from tearing up your steering rack too yeah. But as y'all can see how it's offset, we used to offset uh, bushings. Um, let me see if I can get right here. Yep, as y'all yeah. can see, the control, it, it, the offset bushings make the uh, rack and pinion raise up more to take out the bump steer. But this is what we've been doing, y'all. Y'all can see the new hubs right there. With the ABS ring, we went on here and replaced the hubs. One thing I do, another thing I like about these BMRs too is you can lube them yeah. with grease. See, they got the... Um, On the other ones, you... Grease can. fittings, grease fittings, even the ball joints. Yeah. You are able to lube them, but not with the factory ones, right? Yep. And also, I went with this color too instead of red because the back ones are the same color. And we went with, as y'all remember, we went with the BMR um, upper and lower control arms in the yeah. back. So we don't know about changing out this sway bar just yet. We'll see how the car feels and handles out on the autocross course. But man, look at that. I'm about to paint that. I don't like that. I don't know what made it do that. I don't know either. Yeah, I'm about to paint that. But yeah, we will figure it out. Also too, I went ahead and ordered um, this new uh, manual transmission mount right here. Uh, it ain't came in yet, so it'll be in any moment any day now because i just want to go with a solid mount right here take that factory mount out yep. uh what else are we waiting on let me go over here i'm gonna show them real quick what else what we waiting else? on i know i got it too high probably oh yeah well the problem i was having with these brakes were grab the brake pad for me because i can show them better with the brake pad too it was missing this tension spring clip in here the yes. other side has it but this side it doesn't looks like a Cheek. Yeah, but but look, look how it was wearing the pads out. It was putting a lip on the pads, right? See that? See that yeah. lip on the bottom of the pad? That's actually the top of the pad. This is how it sits in there. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. And uh, it was putting a lip on there because they was wearing funny. So I went ahead and put new ceramic brake pads in here. Uh, we ordered the spring clip from Amazon. It'll be in today. And we're going to uh, put that tension spring back on this side. Uh, that's the old pads right there. So let me see. I'm gonna show y'all that spring clip real quick. What I'm talking about for y'all understand. See that clip right that here? Like yeah, this clip right here. Very easy to install. It's just missing. As y'all can see, we reinstalled it on these right here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We getting this car whipped up in shape. Uh, the next thing. That's on the list to do, which I haven't, we haven't did it yet. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna end up changing out the front and back, the struts in the front and the uh, shocks in the back. These are Takiko Blues, which ain't a bad shock and they don't leak or anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and change them out to a better quality uh, strut and shock and change out this upper strut um, cover right here. Cause that thing's all kind of tore up. 
but yeah this is it y'all it's ready to once once we install that spring clip this thing's coming off the lift until we get the transmission mount in yeah yeah see that transmission mount back there yeah we're changing that to a solid one i don't care if i fill it in the stick i want to fill it oh let me tell y'all one thing that, that that kicked my butt and it shouldn't have because these cars are really easy to work on believe it or not but the steering shaft y'all man that thing kicked my tail let me see the light if i can what, show them part? no the steering shaft is right here remember that's oh, right you was yeah. out sick but that steering shaft you could look at it through this hole here yeah he got the light right on it right where that or light you could is go to this side yeah so let me I try it. it better let me try it all right put the light on that right there boy that thing was kicking my tail connecting it back to the um uh, rack and pinion but i was doing it wrong i should have lined it up well how i got over how i achieved getting it back on there i didn't have it lined up correctly but that pinch bolt groove that's in the on the rack and pinion where the pinch bolt go through it it line you line it up with that boom it pops right in place y'all so that was my fault but i know next time because I don't know if we're going to go with a solid uh, steering shaft or not and get away from that rag joint. I'm thinking about it. So, because I would like to feel the road in the steering wheel too. Because everything, when it comes to racing, everything is filled. Filled through the pedal, filled through the road, I mean, through the steering wheel, you know, all of that stuff. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. All right, Team Run. We're going to go ahead and close this one out. Matter of fact, before we close it out. All right, we're going to go ahead and close it out. This was a good project for us. We got it completed in a week, but it could have been less, but we had to wait on parts to come in, like the wheel hubs, which came in on Thursday. But it wasn't a bad job. I'm, I'm happy that we got to do it. Um, Peanut missed about two days with us, with me, because his allergies was acting up this week. Yeah. So, you know, it's all good. But it's complete. We're just waiting on um, one more part to pop in there and, you know, get this thing off the lift. Get it off the lift. But, hey, thank you for all the support. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification, Hit that notification bell. And don't forget to reach out to our sponsors for any of their services. And this is uh, Peanut. I'm James. This is Peanuts Automotive Ventures. We out. Peace. Peace.